Yes, uh, welcome to week three, everybody. And um, just taking a look at a few things. Um, we're, I'm gonna share my screen here. And uh, we're gonna take a look at, um, we're gonna take a look at a few things here um, that'll help everybody out a little bit this week. Um, this week here, um, once again, we are in um, week three. Um, we have a discussion this week on Starbucks. So we'll take a look, quick look at that first. Um, you look at the uh, Starbucks case that's in 272 of the textbook. Um, and you want to kind of look at the approach that they're using in um, Saudi Arabia. Um, and their teamwork approach. So um, Starbucks has this very, very intense aspect of their of their it's a, ingrained in their dna about teamwork so um and what we're going to do is take a look at the cultural differences between south korea and saudi arabia and how would you approach that if you're applying the starbucks model to each one of those so it should definitely be a very interesting um week for us for discussions because this is um it's a very unique way that they have their corporate structure um and their, their culture, their organizational culture is all about teamwork. So we want to make sure that we, uh, we, you can apply those aspects. Now we are back to one mind tap assignment here for chapter seven, as you can see here. And you guys are working on case number one. Okay. So in case number one, everybody's, um, I think I still have a couple of people who have not turned in theirs yet. Um, but I haven't checked today, but I do think there's like three others that you guys need to kind of get rolling on it if you haven't already. Um, in reference to the case, I ha I've had a couple of questions from um, different people on some different aspects of this. So what we're gonna do is take a look at a couple of different things here. Um, I pulled up a couple of them from um, previous ones on how to handle the article review, okay? Now on the article reviews, um, what you want to you can do a couple of different ways this person chose to actually just incorporate them right into the text of the body of the paragraph so when you start to look at these aspects here um he just did he did his review right inside the document okay um so what you can do in, in kind of um, you can incorporate that in the style doesn't really matter of how you do the literature review so if you want to just go ahead and incorporate that right into there, um, you most certainly can right into the dialogue of the of the paper. Um, so what we can we can take a look at here that this uh, this next one here. Um, you'll see that um, what he did was kind of put in the articles here. So you got article one. Um, this is a different format perfectly acceptable if you want to put the uh the reference here at the top now on the first paper the references were at the end okay but in this one here you put the article at the top and then you write your article summary down here the trick to an article summary is making sure that you pull out the points out of the article that you're that directly apply to the case you're making okay so however you think it should be on uh, you know here's article three article four okay and that's again a different format but you want to make sure that you're pulling out the article the parts of the article that are really applicable to your case okay and they actually accentuate your points that you're trying to make in your case okay so you've got this aspect of it and he chose to to do that in the parts um and here's one last one okay which um again kind of um, combine the two styles. So what they did is they put in the first research or the first paper, okay, gave a little bit of summary. Um, second one, a little bit more of a um, paragraph style summary, okay, and then he put his references at the end, okay. Um, perfectly acceptable to do that, okay. Any three, any each one of these are really acceptable in the way you do that. So you're, you're probably pretty good in that regards. And if you do any one of these three, um, 
it's all up to you on how you would like to do that. Now I can tell you that um, what I've done before, let me see if I can get back to the, here we go, back to the site. So as you've chosen your, your article and everything, um, your paper, um, then you can go ahead and com uh, basically complete that by Sunday, post it up. Um, and if you have any specific questions, feel free to email me. Um, I will say that our discussions last week looked pretty good um, overall. Um, just a lot of minor things like um, in-text citations should probably be um, be in there a little bit more often. Remember, this is master's level work, so you've got to make sure um, that your length is good and that you're commenting substantively to your peers. Uh, we had a few people who um, weren't um, substantive enough. So all of these things you want to keep into consideration. But overall, we had some great discussions. And I think, um, uh, and I'm, I can't wait to get into the aspects of uh, the motivation with Disney papers, which I'll be grading first and then the discussions this week. So the discussions might not happen to the end of the week, but the, uh, the assignment for Disney, I'm going to try to get done over the next few days um, to turn that around so you can get your feedback and use that feedback from that assignment on your writing skills um, in your case, um, so you can improve that aspect of it. Um, as usual, a couple of things I wanna remind you of uh, this week. Don't forget the office hours are from 11.30 to 12.30 on Mondays, and if you can't make those, just let me know. We can certainly work something out. Um, I usually email pretty, back pretty quickly. Um, also, don't forget your... Uh, um, the aspect of the graduate writing center if you need to if you're having problems with citations or any of those types of things because i made some notations in the first one um that overall they were pretty good uh, but there was a couple of isolated cases in that first one in that first group so um the graduate writing center is available to you um you can reach out to them and then uh the, as a resource all right if anybody has any questions or anything like that just let me know um, I might actually post a little bit more on motivation in the week in a, in a different video. So I uh, didn't want to make this too long for anybody and did want to cover the, uh, I want to make sure we cover the aspect of the lit review. All right. I appreciate it. I hope everybody has a great week.